Hello everyone, welcome to my mixed media video for today. Um, today I'm going to be um, decorating um, a, ca a canvas bag. Um, just one of those cheap ones that you can get from, well here in the UK I got mine from, uh, I want to say Hobby Lobby but it's not, it's um, Hobby Craft here in the UK and uh, it was only a pound. So I'm going to be using uh, Imagination Crafts and Cadence products as always and um, I'm going to turn you to overhead and make a start. Okay, so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using two of the uh, stencils from Imagination Crafts. This is called the script and then I've got this one which is Moroccan. I'm going to be using them put them to one side and I've got this um, iron-on image which is of the bike with the um, the stamps and it's like a postcard really so I want to put that kind of there and I'm going to do kind of like a, an ombre effect and I've got um, the hybrid acrylic paints and um, I've got um, plum iris and light light mauve so i'm going to kind of have it dark at the bottom working up to the light um i've already ironed my canvas i've already ironed the canvas so it's all nice and as flat as i can get it and i put a piece of cardboard on inside it and the first thing i want to do is i want to mask off round want to kind of mask it round so I just need to get my masking tape so I'm using Imagination Crafts Mixed Media Tape so I'm just going to quickly mask this off Should have done this before I started videoing, but hey, hey, never mind. If you can hear a clicking noise, it's my eye. Oops. There we go. And this uh, tape is reusable as well. So there we go. I've um, masked it out. I'm just going to flatten it down. Right, I'm going to be using a roller and this is just, you can get this, well I actually got this from um, kind of a, like the dollar store in the U, in the US but I got this from um, a place called B&M here in the UK or Home and Bargains even I think. So um, I'm go I want to turn it round and I'm going to be doing that. So let's get start. Whoops. So I'm going to start with the dark. Put plenty on. And I'm going to just brave it on. just need to take your time with this um, it's not kind of like a, a quick fix I'm 
and I have a bowl of soapy water on my unit out the way. Make my way up. Nice rich colour, isn't it? And uh, so, there we go. Isn't it? And I like, I kind of like the the effect I've, I've managed to get. Just take some more, and then that's it. I'm going to take that off. She says, if she can. Oh, there we go. And I'm dropping that into water. I bought a pack. And I've got four of the soft fluffy ones which will come in handy and four of the other ones so I'm just going to so I've got one for each colour. And I need to make sure I put this on here. What I'm going to do is when I've, um, I'm going to um, go over with the the brown uh, the other colour. Just bear with me a minute. I shouldn't have put that in water. We all learn by our mistakes. Can't all be perfect, can we? <laughs> Unfortunately. Right, so that's that colour done. Oh dear. It's quite hard to get them off the, the thing. I'm trying to get it off. but not least I'm going to go in with the um, light mauve
Ah, c'est clair. Do the last little bit. So different working on to canvas than it is on to walls. <laughs> Never mind. There we are. So can you see? So what I'm going to do now is just pop that there and get some stipple brushes. Some of my stipple brushes. And I'm going to start and blend that in. Just so I've not got straight um, squares. But that's the quickest way to get paint down. See, I'm, away, I'm taking away the the um, the stripiness of it by using the. Oh, that's the wrong one. Don't get them mixed up, Linda. Won't be good. And then I can go around the edges, just making sure. The reason I've done um, a bigger, a wider, um, a wider area with the middle colour is because I want to put the um, the iron on on there. So. so I think that's them done, and I want. Um, just put a little bit of lilac and I just want to go around the edges and then that's
because obviously when you you you're um, using your kind of your roller, you can't get quite into the edges. So I'm just blending them two colours together. Not done a bag for ages, so I thought let's have a play today and do something a bit different than the canvas or a, a piece of MDF. There we go. It just gives it that. I, I, I quite like that. I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. Now I need to dry it, and um, I'm just going to use the rest of this. I can see some areas of the, the bag that I haven't got. There we go. Right, okay. So now I'm just going to dry this. So that's done. Right, just going to move them out the way. Just leave them there. I'm going to bend that over so it don't contaminate anything. And I'm going to take out a fair bit of the wax because I'm going to use the wax to um, stick on my stencils. So I'm just going to put that to one side and use them so they can go away. And I want a stipple brush. Okay. I want a stipple brush. And I want the stencils. Um, no, uh, no, don't. I tell a lie. I'm doing the stenciling after I put the iron on. So what I need to do is I need to cut my shape out. The instructions as well on the back which is good um both in take uh, both in turkish and in english because obviously cadence is a, a turkish company and it says cut the brand and pattern accordingly place the pattern onto the fabric properly and then uh, iron the pattern for one to one and a half minutes in circular motion without steam and then wait a minute or two for the cooling and then remove paper ca um, carefully. Um, so I'm going to turn it round and I want to place it kind of there. Can you see why I did the bigger, bigger area now in the middle of uh, the um, iris? Because obviously I, I wanted to. Right, so now I need a piece of paper. Right, so I've got a piece of paper and we'll make a start. So while I'm doing this, all I'm going to do is just play some music and fast forward because at the end of the day you don't want to see me ironing. So I've got my iron 
and uh, I'm going to fast forward and play some music for you. So now is the moment of truth where I'm going to start and take peel it off. You do it very, very gently. Please tell me I've not put it upside down. Look at that butterfly, doesn't that look cool? Hopefully the bike as well. Just take it gently, remove it gently. You don't want to rip it off and end up with not having, you know, most of the thing. The flowers are coming off. Can you see? Oh, I'm so can you see now why I did the dark at the bottom and then moved up to the light with the big um, oh yes oh yes coming off nice and easy in the postage stamp so that is a really nice postcard isn't it I'm just taking it gently there we go and I've got none on there, which I'm pleased about. So that is super duper. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. That looks cool. Right, so now I'm going to do a bit of stenciling. So I want to do... Um, I'm going to add some stenciling along the bottom. I think I might... Um, I'm not sure whether to use that or just use this. I think I might just use the script actually. I think I might just add some script. Add some script here and there. Hmm, I'll put some at the top I think. So I'm going to put some on my brush and I don't want the the stiff uh, the stiffer brush um, too full of the wax, so I'm putting some on and then taking it off. So can you see what I've done? I have put some on and I'm just taking it off, so I don't kind of flood. doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want perfect. Cool. And I think I might put that at the bottom there like that. Hold on, let me get some on the brush and then I'm just going to do that there. Hope you can see it. Let's just move that up so you can see what I'm doing. I want that up the bottom. Yeah. 
have some of this script over here. more off. There we go. So the last thing I want to do, so I'm going to put, I've soaked that into water, hot soapy water, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a toothbrush. And I'm going to add some splats on it now. So I need to water that down. Where's my water spray? And the brush just to hang it. And I'm going to pick it up and then all I'm going to do is just flick with my brush. And that is my bag completed. I'll take the, the tape off now. I will use that tape again. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. There we go. project on for today um, thank you so much for for watching I hope you've enjoyed I really enjoyed doing this it's sometimes it's just nice to do something a bit different um, than the usual canvases and MDF pieces and um, whatever so um, I think what I'll do with this I think whoever leaves a comment on this particular video um, I will um, pick a winner and send it to somebody so don't forget to like share and um, leave a comment more importantly and also be a subscriber to my youtube channel um, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and uh, until next time everybody happy crafting stay safe bye bye for now